Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to install Minikube on CentOS 9 using Google Cloud VM. So here we are going to learn how to install Minikube on CentOS 9. And here we are going to use Google Cloud Virtual Machine, right? That means Google Cloud Instance. So to install Minikube here, I have mentioned some prerequisites. So first of all, we need a copy of freshly installed CentOS 9 virtual machine. Then we need a minimum 2 GB RAM and two CPUs. Then we need 20 GB hard disk space. Then we need a root privileges. And last, we need a stable internet connection. So that was some prerequisites to install Minikube on CentOS 9. After that, what is Minikube in Kubernetes? So here is a short introduction about Minikube. So let's understand. So Minikube creates a single load cluster inside a virtual machine or cloud instance. And it is good for beginners to learn Kubernetes since you don't have to create a master and worker node to create a cluster. And we can practice basic Kubernetes function and also install Kubernetes dashboard on it. So that's the small introduction about Minikube. So now let's install Minikube on CentOS 9. So first of all, we need a Google Cloud VM. That means we need a Google Cloud instance. So here is my Google Cloud. And as you can see here, I have created one instance with the name CentOS, right? So we need to connect, it, connect to this CentOS virtual machine. So how to connect, so as you can see SSH, so we are going to connect with SSH. So as you can see here, we have successfully connected to our virtual machine. Okay, so now after that, the next step is, first of all, we need to update our system package on CentOS 9. So as you can see the command, we need to update the system package on CentOS 9. So command is like this sudo dnf update hyphen y so let's update our system package using this command so as you can see it's updated right nothing to do okay so let's clear the screen that means we have successfully updated our system package now the next step is install docker on centos 9 so for install minikube we need a docker so as you can see, add the Docker official repository. So first of all, we need to add the Docker repository, official repository using this command. So I'm going to use this command to add Docker repository. So as you can see, adding repo from this side. Okay. Now let's install Docker using this command, sudo dnf install docker. So as you can see, it's a downloading package. So it takes few seconds to install Docker on CentOS 9. So wait for few seconds. So as you can see, it's almost done. Okay, as you can see, installed and then complete okay now let's clear the screen first okay now let's check the next step now so the next step is we need to start our docker then enable and let's check the status right okay so let's start so first of all let's start our docker using this command sudo systemctl start docker 
Okay, now let's enable our Docker. As you know, the command sudo system ctl enable Docker. Okay, now let's check the status of our Docker. So, as you know, the commands. So as you can see, it's active running. That means we have successfully installed Docker on CentOS 9, right? Okay, so let's clear the screen first. Okay, now it's done. Now, the next step is install Kubernetes on CentOS 9. So how to install? So first of all, we need to download, download Kubernetes binary with curl using CentOS, sorry, using uh, curl on CentOS. So let's download. So let's go to the command and paste here. So as you can see, it's downloading Kubernetes. So wait a few seconds. Okay, it's done. If I run the ls command, you can see the folder, right? That means we are successfully downloaded. Now, make the Kubernetes binary executable. So we need to run this command. We need to give the permission using chmod command. Okay, it's done. Okay. Now the next is we need to move this folder into this particular directory, right? So for that, we need to run this command. So before run the command, let's check the folder first. So here, if I run the ls command, you can see the folder. And after that, if I run, the, run this command, and after that run the ls command, you can see there is no folder. That means you have successfully moved this folder into this location. Right, okay. Now it's done. Now if you want to check the Kubernetes version, you can run the command to check the version. Okay. Now the next step is download and install CentOS 9. Sorry, download and install Minikube on CentOS 9. Finally, we are going to install Minikube on CentOS 9, right? So let's download and install Minikube on CentOS 9. So first of all, we need to download this uh, Minikube on CentOS 9 using this command. If you want to check the latest uh, the latest uh, version of Minikube, then you can go to the official site of Minikube and let's check. So now I'm going to use this command to download Minikube. So I'm going to use curl command, download Minikube. So as you can see, it's downloading. Okay, if I run the ls command, you can see the folder of Minikube, right? Okay. After that, we need to give the permission using chmod command. And then the ls command, you can see the folder, right? Here, we have successfully give the permission to this folder using chmod command. That's why you can see the folder color and here you can see, right? Okay. Now, the next step is here, we need to move this into this location. So, make directory, so run the command. And after that, now we need to install Minikube on CentOS 9. So let's install Minikube on CentOS 9 into this location. So that's why here I'm going to run the command. Okay. Now, let's clear the screen first. Now here to give some permissions. So here I'm going to run these two commands. And then new group docker.
Okay, now it's done. Now let's clear the screen. And now let's check the next step. Now the next step is to check your Minikube version. We are going to run this command Minikube version. So if you want to check the details about your Minikube commit and all, then you can run the command so you can see the version and the commit of Minikube. Right, okay. So I'm going to clear the screen first. Okay, it's done. That means we have successfully installed Minikube on CentOS 9. Right, okay. Now the next step is, if you want to start your Minikube, so you can run the command Minikube start. So I'm going to start my Minikube. So you can see it takes some time to start our Minikube. So you can see your starting control plan node minikube in cluster minikube. So that means it's starting. So wait for a few seconds. It takes a few seconds to start. Okay, so as you can see, it's done. That means we have successfully started our minikube. So let's check the status. So run the command minikube status. If you want to check the status, it's running or not. So you can run the command minikube status. You can see minikube type control plane, then host running, Kubernetes running, server running, and config. Right? That means we have successfully installed minikube on CentOS 9 and it's running. Okay, now let's clear the screen first. And now the next step is. If you want to stop your mini cube, then you can run the command mini cube stop, then successfully stop. Right? Okay. Now, the next step is deploy an app mini cube cluster. So, how to deploy? So, here is the command. So, let's create deployment on mini cube cluster. So, for that, first of all, we need to run this command. You can see deployment.app hello node created, right? Okay. After that, now the next step is to, to check the deployment of Minikube cluster. Let's check the Minikube cluster deployment. So let's run the command. So you can see hello node that we have created, ready, up to date, available, and the age, 90 seconds, right? Here is that we have created. Okay. Now let's clear the screen. Now, next is here. Expose the deployment using service on Minikube cluster. So let's run this command. And here I'm going to create hello node type. You can see service hello node exposed, right? Okay. Now, to check service on Minikube cluster, so let's check using this command. Let's check the output. So as you can see, our hello node that we have created, the cluster IP and the port number and the age. So here you can see the port number. So, okay. 32442. That's our port number. Okay. Now, the next step is access the app on Minikube cluster using cluster IP, right? So, first of all, let's check our Minikube IP. How to check? So, let's run the command Minikube IP. That's our Minikube IP. So, here run the command curl. Now, if you want to check the details of your Minikube, right? So, how to check? So, here is the command curl hyphen b and your minikube ip so here is our minikube ip so let's copy and colon and the port number so we what's the port number so here is our port number hello node node port and the port number is three two double four double double four two right here is our port number which is here three two double four two so how to check your port number? So run the command like this. And here's our port number, right? So if you want to check the details of your uh, sorry, Minikube, 
then the command is like this curl hyphen v then your minikube ip and your port number so you can see the details you can see client values client address and the server values and so on right you can see the details that means we have successfully installed Minikube on CentOS 9 using Google Cloud Virtual Machine, right? So here we have learned how to install Minikube on CentOS 9 using Google Cloud VM. So thank you for watching.